J.G. Ballard, it's commonly accepted now, was one of the most important, um, influential and most visionary imaginative writers um, to have emerged in Britain in the 20th century. The British Library was delighted recently to learn that we've acquired the complete extant archive of J.G. Ballard in the terms of the government's acceptance and loose scheme, which is administered by the MLA, and that means that we've just taken delivery of it uh, very recently and we're beginning to find out uh, some of the treasures that are within the archive. People were never sure quite what J.G. Ballard's archive might consist of. He famously claimed not to have kept any of his papers um, throughout his long writing career. What we've discovered as we've just begun to start looking through the boxes which are stored now in the British Library is that actually he'd kept a surprising amount of material dating all the way back to his youth and internment um, in Shanghai during the Second World War, all the way up to drafts and notes for his most recent novels and his autobiography that was published just a couple of years ago. I suppose J.G. Ballard's audience um, and readership increased dramatically when he published in 1984 Empire of the Sun, which of course went on to be filmed by Steven Spielberg. And it's, um, it's a loosely autobiographical um, work that describes his childhood in Shanghai following the Japanese invasion and the internment of his family from 1943 in an internment camp just outside Shanghai. And I suppose as far as the archive is concerned, this is one of the richest boxes that cover this work, both original material dating back to his days in the camp. There's memos, um, lists of internees, uh, material describing his experiences at the time as a young child interned in the camp. And we can see the way that that kind of um, original material gestated and eventually found its way into what is still um, a work of fiction, Empire of the Sun. I suppose for me there's a shock of recognition when you see the extent to which J.G. Ballard composed his novels painstakingly by hand, we're so used to Word documents and emails nowadays, um, that to see the rich workings through of all of his novels, and Empire in the, of the Sun in particular, um, brings a very visual um, and intriguing element to the archive, and certainly as far as research is concerned, they're incredibly rich drafts which will repay um, all sorts of work and analysis. So as part of my role, I look after manuscripts um, from William Shakespeare through Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, up to Harold Pinter, and we're enormously grateful at the British Library that the Ballard family have entrusted us with this incredibly important archive, and it's our mission now to make this available and to store it and preserve it for generations to come.